Hello and welcome to this video on x-rays. This is the first topic in P3, it's the first one in topic one which is the medical application of physics. First of all we need to take a rewind back to P1. The last topic in P1 was all about waves and we are looking at x-rays which part of the electromagnetic spectrum. If you haven't taken P1 yet, here is a tip for you. You have to remember that all waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum. This is something people forget a lot. So this is our EM spectrum here, starting off radio, microwaves, infrared waves, visible waves, ultraviolet, x-rays right at the end here with gamma rays. You can see the wave I've drawn, admittedly not very well, uh, changes frequency and wavelength as we go along. X-rays are short wavelength, high frequency, high energy waves. The wavelength of an X-ray is roughly the same diameter as an atom. Now X-rays can be used for two different things. The first one they can be used for is taking X-ray photographs. Some of you may have had these taken before. If you hurt yourself, and again, please excuse the drawing, Hello Primrose. If you hurt yourself, you may have had an x-ray taken to see whether you've broken your bones or not. The way it works is you have the x-rays fired, or your hand, your arm, your foot, whatever you've hurt. And traditionally, there was an x-ray film plate behind that. It starts off white and turns off black as x-rays hit it. The x-rays will go straight through the soft tissue straight through the soft tissue, hit the x-ray film and turn it black, but will get stopped by bone or metal, anything really hard and dense, and this will show up white on the x-ray film. Then you'll be able to see where a potential break may be. Film is pretty old school. Today we use CCDs, which are charge couple devices. These are used in digital photography and are about the size of postage stamp. These are silicon chips that detect x-rays and produce an electrical signal which they send to a computer. X-rays are also used in CT scans. These computerized actual tomography. This is a high dose of x-ray, much higher than you would get if you're just looking at your arm or your leg, and they're looking at to see soft tissue. These are generally much bigger and they're circular and they rotate. They send a signal to the computer which produces a 3D image. These can be used to find tumours, to see any organ damage, or if there's any problems with the blood vessel. Now the other thing that x-rays are used for is radiotherapy. You send a, um, a beam of x-ray to a cell and it kills the cell. Now this can be good for cancer treatment, or this can be bad. Um, which is why we need to keep the exposure time to a minimum and people working with x-rays need to wear lead aprons. In P3, the examiners are really, really going to pick up on your language. So whereas in P1, you would have got away, you would have got the marks by saying x-rays cause mutations. In P3, we have to be really careful with what you write down. X-rays increase the chance of mutation which can lead to cancer and cell death which is harmful. It may seem silly you having to write down that cancer and cell death is harmful but if you don't tell the examiners that you know that they're harmful the examiners will assume that you don't know. You also have to include the word chance otherwise you won't be able to get full marks on this question. So that's all the knowledge that you need to know for x-rays quite a short start to P3. Here are some questions for you. What I want you to do is do pause and try these for yourself. So question one, are x-rays high or low frequency? What is a wavelength of an x-ray the same size as? What good things can x-rays do? What do you need to be careful of with x-rays? And how does the CCD work? So pause and try this for yourself. So if you've had a go at those now, here are the answers. Are x-rays high or low frequency? They are high frequency. What is the wavelength of an x-ray the same size as? Is the same diameter as an atom? 
what good things can x-rays do they can see broken bones um, they can diagnose organ problems and they can treat cancer you need to be careful with x-rays because it can increase the chance of mutation which can lead to cell death and cancer and can be harmful and a CCD works like a digital camera a silicon chip sends an electrical signal to a computer here are the answers again for you I hope you got five out of five. If you didn't, watch the video again.